For my underdog of the week, give me the Colts plus four at Jacksonville. Now, they did lose to Jacksonville week one, but that was without both running back Zach Moss and Jonathan Taylor. Now, not only are both available, but Jonathan Taylor is ramping up his workload, and Zach Moss has been better than expected in his absence. He's tied for second in the league in explosive runs behind CMC. And what a luxury to have two dynamic running backs when your starting quarterback, Anthony Richardson, is out at least four weeks on IR, if not longer, and you have arguably the best backup quarterback in the NFL, Gardner Minshew. Minshew mania will be in full force in not only a revenge game versus the Jags, but I think we'll see the best of him as he's driving the car now for a month or more. On the Jacksonville side, Trevor Lawrence is 0-5 against the spread when favored by four or more. He's 1-4 straight up in that spot. Not to mention, for the first time ever, we're seeing a team come back from two weeks overseas. It's an unprecedented schedule disadvantage. Although Lawrence is coming off his best game of the season and they're feeling confident after a su super successful 2-0 trip, there's got to be some lag as they get back. If you've ever traveled overseas, you know the jet lag is always worse coming back, so I think the Colts can take advantage. Make sure you catch Inside the Lines every Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on the BetMGM YouTube channel.